What's up, you guys? So this week is more of a serious video for me. I am going to tell you guys what's going on with me and why I'm questioning not just my religion, but my God and how it is helping me grow mentally, physically, and spiritually. So if you would like to watch, stay tuned. Hello, my name is Kay and Kim, and this is Kay and Kim TV. Like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to share because you're helping us grow on this channel. So you guys, I'm just gonna get into it. Um, I'm gonna prime my face and then I'm gonna do a quick beat because I have to go in about 10 minutes, but I'm going to start. <laughs> I've been in a sunken place for a long time. The only happy place I've been at is literally when I'm doing my YouTube. So I've been literally in this phase of my life where I'm testing God. And I don't mean just testing him in, in, a, in a small way. I mean testing him like testing my faith. So now I'm on this journey with Christ and I'm not going to talk about my religion or what I believe. I'm going to talk about the journey. This is my life. This is, even though I do YouTube, I actually go to church a lot. It's just me and the things that I'm doing to get closer to God or get closer to that mental state of I'm healed. I am where I need to be, basically. First, I got to tell you how I got there. And it's, it's, it's a short story. I got there in a lot of ways. I started testing God mainly because I was unhappy where my life is. That's usually where you start in life, where you're unhappy with you. So you try to figure out what's going on with you. And I met a friend and she had lost all this weight. And she was so beautiful. And I was like, oh my God, what's going on? She said mentally, her and her husband have been like, they're not been on the same page. Mainly because she was at a place that her husband wasn't. And she wanted to grow. And I was like, oh, but you look so good. How did you get to where you are now? She then explains to me that she started just questioning what her purpose was. And that's where I was at the time of me meeting up with her. I was questioning where my purpose was, what did I need to do, and a whole bunch of other things. Or did I want to continue YouTube? And I found out that I do want to continue YouTube because this is what makes me happy. This is what brings me whole, sharing moments of my life with others that is happy to be here because you know even though I share with family they're not always happy to be here mind you she was telling me um what was going on with her um all the things that she had been through in the last couple of weeks and that um her and her husband had separated <laughs> And then, uh, but they're back together. That's not the legits of this story. The legits of this story is that she had started questioning everything from her religion to her, um, her being a mom. And if this was really something that she wanted to do, because she had no kids. And she was just like, I don't know um, if that's what I want to do, basically. That's what she said. She said because her husband was pushing her to have kids. And she was scared. When I talked to her, I was like, oh, my God. Um, wow. It, it, her, her, the things that she was going through was serious. Like, serious to the point where... I was like, wow, um, 
But talking to her also made me see that I was in a similar situation. That I was questioning my religion, questioning my purpose, questioning where I needed to be in life, right? And I wasn't doing this because I didn't know what I wanted. I was doing this because I'm not where I want to be. So fast forward, I started losing weight. I started really losing weight. You know, I got a trainer at the beginning of the year and then all of a sudden I didn't get a trainer. I wanted to be not at, um, and that training video is coming. I wanted to be at a healthy weight for me, for my physical type. And I had always, I had been this, I had been big for a minute, if you understand what I mean. I was um, in a body that I did not recognize within myself. So where she was exactly where I was, and she looked so good. And I was like, oh my God, you look so good. And she said that it was, she was at a happier moment in her relationship with God. And I was like, well, how can I get there? She was like, pray and get back to where you see yourself with your religion. Um, religion wise, I started reading the Bible. I started to see my relationship with God was not where it should have been. My relationship with God is my personal relationship. But I actually saw other people talking about it. I actually saw videos of other women talking about how they questioned their religion. I wasn't questioning my religion. I was questioning my purpose and questioning God. So I knew this is where I wanted to be and what I wanted to serve. But I actually was like, wow, um, this is new for me. My relationship with God was at a standstill and it's supposed to grow as a Christian. So I was like, um, my relationship with God is not growing. So that's when I decided to read the Bible. So I am reading the Bible in its entirety. So that's where I'm at in building a, a better relationship with God. I per se, and questioning my relationship with God. So I made this video because I was watching a couple of my YouTubers and now a, a lot more have come out and said the same thing. And I was like, wow, it's not just me. It's not just me, you know, looking at my relationship with God and saying, wow, Lord, you know, it's everybody, it's everybody. Since C19 came, a lot of people have questioned um, their relationship with God or where they're at with their spirituality. So now, and me seeing her and see where she at with, with her relationship with God and her marriage and everything, I started questioning even more because I was like, why am I not happy? What is stopping me from being the happy person that I am? I'm happy when it comes to YouTube because I've, I've, I've seen the change and the shift in my content and I'm liking where I'm at. I'm not even going to lie. I'm even liking, you know, I'm still working to get that thousand subscriber. And I'm still working to get um, better at editing. And I'm still working to get, you know, where I need to be when it comes to YouTube, if that's saying something. But... I also realized that I don't need to rush. It's not, I'm not in a hurry to grow and then people just follow me to follow me and they're not following me for the right reasons. If I don't want somebody that don't want to be a part of my journey, I know a lot of my friends follow me. And I love that because they're, they are, are watching my videos and they will say um you know stuff that 
cheer me up and i like that i like that they're they're actually you know you might not know this but my friends are actually very supportive of me to the point where if i ask them anything they would be able they even my family let me not say just my friends my family is too because i have cousins that will tell me hey i seen your video and i need to know this and this and this and, and and I have a great relationship with my family right now and it took a long time for me to realize that a lot of the things they were saying that I had to change and I had to change those things for me not because my family wanted me to change them mainly because I had to change them for me for the person that I am now. I'm building those relationships now because I really don't want to not grow. I should say. And I want to be able for people to understand me better. So the purpose of this video is to explain to you guys that I am in a place of growth and in a place of mental health and in a place of getting, um, just getting my mind to focus on the things that I needed to focus on. You know, I'm I'm trying to structure my YouTube channel, but it's hard when life is kicking you. I would like to post every Friday and Wednesday, and I have not been able to be consistent with that. And then bonus videos for Sunday, if I can. I have not been consistent. I will post on a Wednesday and then I won't post on the Friday and then I won't um, post a, even a bonus video on Sunday. And it is now telling in my growth because I, I know a lot of you guys expect a video at least once a week and then some of you guys forget to come back. And I'm like, if I had a schedule and I stick to my schedule, you guys would know. You guys would know to be here. So I am talking to a therapist and she is helping me get the clutter out of my brain cells, I should say, or be more consistent with just every little thing in my life not just my religion because she is a spiritual therapist not not to be funny i mean i'm not there where i want to be i'm not in a place where i'm happy with where i'm at you know i'm on this weight loss journey and i have uh, that video is definitely coming soon i've said it once before but i'm gonna say it again. that video is coming soon i'm i'm I am really happy with my weight loss, but if I'm not happy, happy, then losing weight is just not going to happen. I, I do go to a nurse that, um, make sure I'm doing it the correct way. And my trainer is helping me and I have lost, when people see me now, they're like, oh, wow, we can tell you lost the weight. And I'm happy about that. But the weight loss journey is just that, a journey. And I will forever be on this journey, not to be funny, because I don't plan on taking out my eating habits. I just plan on maintaining um, my weight loss. So, and when I say that, because a lot of people don't understand what that means. Whenever you lose more than 10 pounds right you go through the okay now i'm going to eat whatever i want phase and it does not work 
because the minute you eat whatever you want, oh, I'll just lose the weight next time. Or I'll just I'll just do this next time. It doesn't work. It doesn't work like that. It really doesn't. And I hate to tell you this. Once you lose more than 10 pounds, you have to stick to a plan in order for you to continue to keep those 10 pounds off. And it's hard. Because I know I've been there. I've lost, did this, you know, extreme dieting for a week or a month. And then I've I lost the pounds and then within a, a couple of weeks later, I've gained five out of the 10 back. So I'm just letting you guys know that this, where I'm at now, I'm not there um, visiting. I'm there permanently. I'm going to continue. I, I'm a I'm a pescatarian, so I'm going to continue to eat the way I eat, but I'm going to continue going low carbs um every other week. So I will be on this journey and doing this low carb thing for for a long time. If you understand. And some of you guys might look at it like, wow, you know, that's a lot. It is. It is a lot. And I am realizing that I don't want to not do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. And I want this to be... Um, I want this to be like a thing for me. And my trainer is definitely there for me emotionally, spiritually, and just all around um, helping, me, helping me get to where I need to be when it comes to this weight loss thing. So it is, when I tell you the one of the best experience I've had working with somebody that knows you and understand where you're coming from, especially when it comes to weight loss. So I talked to him. Now I'm talking to him. Um, I do have to say I have not been in the gym for a couple of weeks. He knows that and he understands mainly because and this is what I was going through during the holidays. I had a friend that passed away during the holidays. So that made me even question life even more. And I've been like mentally depressed. And um, he said, you know, just continue to eat the way I'm eating. And he gave me a home workout, which that's what I've been doing because I just, it's, it's just, that is just a 15 minute workout literally 15 minutes so i've been able to do that um just to keep up what i'm doing um over the holidays i lost my car i didn't tell you guys that because it's not that i was ashamed it's just that i was depressed already and i didn't want to talk about it i didn't want to talk about it in a in a video and I knew I would have to address it sooner or later. So I'm addressing it now. Um, yeah, I lost my car. <laughs> so now I have to get another car. Um, that's another reason why my friend took so long when it came to getting you guys, uh, picking out the winners. Um, and because she knew, like, she knew I was not ready. And I'm going to just be honest with you guys. So... I've been going through it, even with my marriage. And I'm at a place in my life where I want to go, but things in my life happens where I get stagnated. And this is another reason why I am questioning God. 
I'm questioning my religion. I'm questioning... my purpose i'm questioning my marriage so everything is being questioned right now and as a person i do not have it all together i'm not gonna sit here and say i have it all together i don't and i'm okay with that because my therapist told me that in reality we can't make plans um long-term plans and not expect bumps in the road. So if I'm not doing well one day, I don't have to pretend. So this is this video, not pretending. I don't want to come on here and be depressed. Even with the loss of my friend, um, I've been dealing i've been i've been good i'm not gonna even complain let me not let me not say i have i i mean i am able to function now a lot better and um talking about her helps um you know it's it's not even been has it been a month yeah it's been a month now it's been a month i'm able to remember her now with like with a with a good like good memories I so say. i'm able to you know see that even though she's gone her memories is still here with me and i really do appreciate all the things that me and her had together as far as the friendship. So that's another thing that I am grateful for. But whenever you have somebody pass in your life, you always question, Lord, am I on the right path? Because she was younger than me. She was a lot younger than me. And I don't want to be one of those people that start, you know, just start doing things because others did it i don't want to be one of those people where i start looking at others and what they're doing and how they're adjusting and how they're coping and then start on that mechanism i want to be able to cope the way i'm coping so i um i started writing letters to my mom who's deceased and telling her things as a way of coping. And I told my therapist this and she said that that's fine. Um, uh, I, cause I wanna talk to my mom. And by me writing letters to her and telling her what I'm dealing with is really helping me because even though she can't answer, and I know that, I know she can't answer, but it's like, it's like, it's almost like I can sense that what she would say. So that's why it's helping. I've been coping through these letters, if that makes sense. But I'm questioning God because, you know, she was young. She, she had two kids. She had just did her nursing over here in America. She was, she was very beautiful. She like almost looking in, she had, she was where I'm trying to go. Like, I mean, with everything, like she, she had kids. Her marriage was in a healthy spot. Her and her husband were friends. That's what I aim for. All of that. Just the good, just not the, I wouldn't say the good life. I mean, they had a house. They were working together cohesively. Um, I don't know what actually inside the house. So I guess that's why I was questioning God because I don't know how the inside of the house look. I just basing it on what I see on the outside. And that was one of the reasons why I said to myself, I have to, I have to 
try to get where I need to be because God can take you at any moment. And that's just real for me. That's just where my mind has been. You get what I'm saying? So now that I'm at this place, I'm happy to be at this place because somebody told me the the one of the greatest things you can do is question God because the answers you will get would surprise you. And the answers that I'm getting is surprising me by me continuing to read the Bible on a daily basis and I'm enjoying reading the Bible. I'm enjoying talking to my families about what's going on with me spiritually. Um, I have not been to church yet. And the reason why is because I changed my schedule and I now work on Sundays. So I do watch online, which I have to make sure I got the right um, link so I can hear it and watch it online also. Um, not just uh, watch it online. So because my church, if you know, is multicultural, but the majority of the language in my church is Spanish. So I've been listening to pastors talk about their journey and the things that they um, are dealing with in their own uh, relationship with God. So it it really, it really like make me feel comfort that I'm not the only one in a boat when it comes to this, but I wasn't going to do this video, but I, I, again, I see so many people coming out and it kept on coming to me and kept on coming to me. And again, I don't want to be too religious, not to say I'm, and I say this because it's the complete truth. I don't want to come on here as holier than thou. So that's why I don't focus on religion conversation, but this is just me growing and telling you guys how I'm growing in my situation. So once I went into everything that I'm going into, I was dealing with so much questioning, like, am I like, am I with the right, am I doing the right thing? Not just, not just by me, but by my sons, by my husband. And I would like to say this and I would like to state this. When it comes to marriage, both people is at fault if the marriage fails, not just one. You hear what I'm saying? Because when you, and not to say my marriage is failing because right now I don't know. But I want to state that because a lot of people seem to think that I blame my husband for, um, for the things he do and I don't because my relationship with Christ and I know a lot of people is going to hate when I say this uh, my relationship with Christ helped me build my marriage it is the foundation of where I would like to stand with my marriage so when I say um when I say I'm dealing with the things that I'm dealing with, it's mainly because I'm trying to be not that Proverbs wife because I it's too much. That's too much for any woman to try to do that in a daily basis. But I want to be close to that as possible. So that's why um, that's what I'm saying when it comes to uh, everything that I'm dealing with. Now I'm at a place where, you know, I'm I'm at a place of comfort. I'm at a place where I'm happy to be where I'm at because it's helping me grow in every area of my life, believe it or not. It's helping me um, grow as in what do I want? Do I want to hold myself accountable for just the things that, um, just the things that I want to do? Like, okay, I, and, and, and this is every year, everybody do that. 
New Year revolution that, oh, I have to lose weight. I have to build a business. I have to do all that. I've been doing that every year. So I, I gave up on the revolutions and I did tell you guys that already. So it's not a New Year's revolution for me. It's a lifestyle change for me. It's a growth for me. It's build where I need to be. And I'm happy I did it that way. I'm meeting up with friends. I'm enjoying questioning God. I'm enjoying building my relationship all over again with God in a new direction, not more. Because I, I, I really want you to understand, I was more in the, if I pray, if I be good, if I do this, if I am this way, and if I do this, then God has to bless me. Um, and that's more of a, I'll put the word on the screen where you feel like you, if you do the law, then God is going to bless you. And that is not the case in any situation. You have to make sure you are building that relationship with God and formulating that standard that he has within yourself. I always say uh, your religion is a lifestyle, not a religion. And it's that's what it is for me because I realized that I wasn't going to church for other people. I wasn't going to church to build a relationship with God. I was going to church because that's what I was told to do. And that's not good either. When I tell you guys that I am growing and my marriage is growing, my friendships is deepening with certain people, and then I have to cut certain people off. But when you change as a person, you go through these paths in life that you literally have to cut off some people. And I realized that, though I didn't want to do that, I do realize that. And even my best friend says, you are changing and I'm happy to see this change because it's growth. So, yeah. But um I don't know. I I really am at a place in my life where I'm seeing me instead of seeing the things around me. I'm not questioning God as in uh you were supposed to bless me with this 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 and this. I'm questioning God as in I'm at a place where I'm at a place with God where I, I want to know not why he does some of the things that he do. Why he put me in the position he did. Why he chose me as a person to follow him. Why am I favored? Because even losing my car, my son has a car, I can use his. My husband has a car, I can use his. So I'm able to get around. I just don't personally have a car. You get what I'm saying? It's no hardship for me in reality because I have, um, I have the opportunity to borrow <laughs> everybody else's car. But I'm at a place where I am enjoying coming to understand you're not going to get everything right the first time so that's what i am enjoying i hope you understand where i'm coming from though i didn't want to make this too religious it did turn out to be a little religious but for those that whatever religion you follow in i'm pretty sure it applies to all gods and all religion and i really want you to understand that I am in a stage in my life where I'm constantly trying to grow. And in this stage, this has been the growth part of my life. I will have that video of me losing weight coming soon because I really want you guys to know that it is not just physical. It is emotional and spiritual that is causing me to lose the weight. And I think that's where we lose our focus in life when we see that we're not um, able to maintain it. But spiritually, you can maintain it. 
and mentally you can maintain it. So I hope that's it. I want to tell you guys, thank you for helping me grow. Thank you for being there for me. Thank you for continuously showing up and showing out. So thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for being here with me. Like, comment, subscribe. And don't forget to share because again, you guys, we're growing on this channel and I'd like for you guys to be there. Have a good day.